hello this is your girl Yvonne coming back to you again with another video and this time again I want to just say thanks to all my friends and family on Facebook and thanks for all the subscribers my subscription is just going up so much each time I check I just see the subscriptions I'm just going up so thanks again but I want to just bring something forward to you guys I had a conversation with my husband and um, he told me that I should delete my YouTube channel, Evanity Star TV. I should delete it because it lacks content. And I was thinking, you know, I started to think about what he was saying and, you know, just to say to myself, what is he talking about? But as I went back through the channel and started to look back on some of the things that I have posted. I saw that some of the things were very depressing and also a lot of things that implicated him. So I guess he didn't feel very comfortable about the things that I was saying and the things that I was doing. And he said that I should go ahead and delete the channel and stick to my nursing profession. <laughs> Guys, I am not going to delete my channel. What do you think, guys? Tell me, what do you think? Should I delete my channel or should I continue with my channel? Because he's telling me that my channel lack content. Now, if my channel lack content, then it simply means that something is wrong with what I am doing. And I know within my heart that nothing is wrong with what I'm doing. I feel comfortable about everything that I have posted. I have no regrets. And I can look back on those videos that I have done to know and I can see the transformation and I've seen the improvements in my life. And I can tell you this, guys, if I didn't start this YouTube channel, I wouldn't see that my life was deteriorating. When I look back on myself and some of the videos then that I have done and see how I look and see how my life was just tearing apart, and he was there in the house, guys, and he was not helping me to do nothing. My husband don't give me nothing. When I said nothing, nothing financially towards anything that I can say, yes, is lifting a little burden off me. I know I am financially stronger, but that don't give him the reason for him not to even care to give me anything, guys. And I'm telling you, I leave my house Kerry, North Carolina, and I'm telling you, everything is going just the same. So you can imagine if I had died, I would just be the person that was there, but everybody's going, getting along with their life. Everything is being done, and it's not being done by me. So can you imagine, guys, <laughs> all that burden and all that stress that is taken off me? I feel so good. And I feel so blessed. And I'm telling you, I am thanking all the priorities, God, who have prayed for me and lift that burden of destruction that was laid down on my head, guys. I tell you, it was so heavy. Now I feel so free. I feel delivered. I feel strong. I, can, I cannot even express the feeling that I'm feeling right now. And... I don't see a future right now with me and my husband. I really do not see it. He has missed something very good and genuine in his life. I am a gemstone guy. I am a gemstone. When I tell you, he had the best thing that ever happened to him and he abused it. So, I mean, my heart still goes out for him. And if we go back together, I don't know on what terms we're going to be going back together on because there was no foundation between me and him. I was the only foundation. And I'm telling you, he wasn't even a, a rock that I could lean on. Nothing. So I just feel very good and very blessed at this moment that I have made it a choice and made a decision that I have made. And God has been blessing me. I have been feeling so free. My daughter showed me so much love and appreciation 
when I tell her that <laughs> Nick said, I think I want to go back home. She said, Ma, what are you talking about? Going back where? Where are you going back to? She said, the last time I was upset with you and I was vexed with you because you were living in a relationship that wasn't good for you. And I, she told me that you weren't holding on to anything. And I said, you know, I love my heavenly father and I honor my marriage. And we make a vow and we make a commitment to thick and thin. But guys, the commitment was only a one-sided commitment because I was the only one that was committed and doing everything that was right. Mark you, financially, I am okay in the terms of taking care of everything, but that don't give you the right to abuse me in terms of not helping me financially and in the situation where I couldn't go back to work at the time because I'm studying and, you know, getting my degree, you know, I'm already a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. But during those times, I had to stop work and, you know, I had to focus on my clinicals and I had to make sure that my my exam and everything was on point because I didn't want to fail any paper. So I stopped working and started focusing on my studies exams and my clinicals and guys i started seeing the real color who was surrounding me because i was just a a money bank i was just going to work taking care of business going to work taking care of business being the best person ever for everybody when my life was deteriorating my health was deteriorating because i was so stressed guys and I, I wasn't looking at myself. They saw me and saw, and saw how stressed I was. But they weren't thinking about that. They were just looking at me as a, as a cash cow. <laughs> I was the one, oh, you are the, the one who's making the money, so you should be doing this. You know, and, you know, but sometimes I blame myself because I am the one who allowed this to have really happen in my life. Because I'm a very giving person. I'm very kind. I open up myself to people and I trust people a lot. And if they tell me that they're going to do something, I believe them even if I ask them, you know, why you didn't do this. And they, and they give me a, an excuse. I will give them the benefit of the doubt and try to compromise or try to... You know, just say, okay, everything will be all right. Okay, don't worry yourself. I'll take care of it. I'll do this. And it has been happening for years, guys. When I say years, I mean years to the point now where I became so burnt out because I had exam and the studying alone was just so pressuring. So many deadline papers, my clinicals, having the doctors that I have to work with really sign off on my papers and to make sure that I did what I had to do correctly. Oh my God, it was so overwhelming and so stressful because if you didn't meet certain standards, they wouldn't sign you off, you know? So all that pressure and the pressure of the home, the pressure of him not doing what he's supposed to do, the pressure of my kids not liking what they see within my relationship and all of that you know it was just so compounding and guys i just want to thank all the prayer warriors guys because i know i had life in me and all i needed was a hand a hand to hold on to to pull me up out of that rut and i have gotten it guys and i can't believe the love and the support that i have been getting and the prayer Prayers, I have been, I cannot emphasize the appreciation and the love that I am getting. And I just want to give my love back to you guys and tell you how much I love you all. And thank you very much for everything that you have done for me. And I am telling you, I came out with this video YouTube channel. I came up with this YouTube channel with the intent of 
growing something that I didn't know what I was doing, guys. And I must tell you, when I looked on myself and saw the transformation from what I was to what I had become at that point, and oh, my health was deteriorating. I even went to the doctor. The doctor told me that they don't know what they can do to help me because I was feeling so sick. I was having shortness of breath. I was, everything was just going bad for me. And the doctor told me that I have to go and fix myself some other way, some other way how I don't know. But the only way I know is through God, Heavenly Father. And I tell you, I have faith. And a lot of times I go to my bed and I feel like my breath is going to go away from me, guys. I feel like I'm going to die when I was at home. And I, I cannot understand Oh, I felt so strong. Even though I felt like I was going to die, I said, come on, I'm ready for you. I'm not afraid. Because I know anywhere you came from, you're going to have to go back there. Because I was feeling so sick. When I say sick, it was not normal sick. Because I've been to the emergency room so many times, guys. And all they do is send me home and tell, them, tell me that they don't know what is wrong with me. They put me on the body scan. They took out my gallbladder, guys. They took out my gallbladder when they did ultrasound. They said, oh ma'am, I see your gallbladder is impacted with stones, so we have to remove it. Maybe that would make you feel better. <laughs> they took out my gallbladder. I, only, I got sicker. I held myself up, guys, because I believe in myself and I know that this is not normal. What is happening to me, guys, was not normal. It was not normal at all. And it has to do with me and being stressed. The compounding stress is like my body was giving up on me and then I was not getting the help. Nobody was there to hold me up, to help me cushion that little blow. Guys, I was doing it all by myself. And, I, and then I was not getting the respect from my husband and his family. So can you imagine? So my husband want me to delete my channel? I don't think so. So guys, you tell me what you think. Should I delete my channel? Tell me, should I? delete my channel yes or no i want you to interact with me and let me know exactly what you're thinking and if there's anything or this any content you want to tell me that i can put into it then let me know but i am not going to give him the satisfaction of deleting the history and let him see that he has been only a breathing person around me he was no body that was there to help to support me and to give me the support what i wanted but i still care about him you know but i am not sure of what our relationship <laughs> is gonna be on because i'm not feeling him at all i am not feeling him at all i honestly believe that we should come to an agreement of terminating this relationship and he goes back to his family in india and i stay free until i find somebody that i really love and care about and somebody who really love and care for me because i am tired of being used by men and giving my all but you know, God has a purpose for me. And I tell you, I only do my best and I do my 100% best. And sometimes in life,
people want to come out of your life but they don't know how to come out of your life so they start to destroy you in such a subliminal way that you think that they care but they don't care but if you leave you're gonna be the one that is to be blamed because he told me he said baby you're the one that changed not me and I said I am the one that changed not you you don't realize what you have been doing to me you don't realize that you are no help to me i am the one that is helping you i am the one that provide a home for you i am the one that give you your papers i am the one that buy you a car i am the one that just give you a life within itself so yet you can stand easy in america and this is how you treat me by not even giving me a support you know so I I don't know what to say, but I, I am clean and I know that Heavenly Father is not upset with me for what I have done because I know I was saving myself. And my grandmother used to tell me, the devil don't want no fool in hell and God sure don't want no fool in heaven. And I tell you, I, I was being abused. When I said abused, he didn't come and hit me in my face or curse me but he was doing the abuse he was oh baby i love you so much Mwah. and nothing behind it so i'm like oh my god he's kissing me on my cheek i feel so good he loves me oh baby Mwah. good evening baby Mwah. goodbye baby Mwah. it's just baby Mwah. and nothing behind it nothing i can't even ask him to assist me on nothing and i get any form of assistance in no way the best thing that he gives to me is an experience that <laughs> once you see a man with certain action from the beginning don't expect that when you marry them they're going to have a change because it's not gonna change <laughs> guys i'm not <laughs> telling you that I'm gonna always right go ahead and divorce my husband and and, and and leave him you know but my intention is for the best for myself guys and if he's gonna be an endurance in my life where my life is gonna be unhealthy where he is no support a lot of times I'll be watching youtubers and I watch couples guys I watch couples and see how well those couples are getting on with each other. And I said, you know, it takes two. You know, if one person leaves that channel, it's like the channel breakdown because they have an audience and the audience is expecting certain things. So you have to come back with a comeback to really attract those, that audience again, to bring them back to where it was. And I tell you, if my husband had just joined me within my channel, I think my channel would have been blooming and blossom. But guys, I can do bad by myself. I can do bad all by myself. I'm a very educated person. I have been helping a lot of people. And I tell you guys, I used to travel to Santa Domingo, the Dominican Republic, and I used to help so much people, guys. And I know God has blessed me. And he still has been blessing me, guys. And I know I am not going to stop doing the good that I have to do in this life. Because I know Heavenly Father have a plan for me. And it is going to be a good plan. And guys, I want you to continue to pray for me. Because guys, I can feel feel the prayers God I can feel it I can feel it cuz I can tell you guys I I used to live by my dreams I could go to bed and dream what is happening in my life and what is going to happen in the, the next day if I had a job interview and I dream that I fail that interview I I don't need to go to that interview anymore guys and I tell you 
because of what is happening around me and the negative energy that is suppressing me guys I didn't even have a dream and if I even have a dream I can't even remember the dream but I know God is by my side I know because there's so much things guys that I can't even open up myself and explain to you guys right now he has to make a change in his life or I know right now he's having a whole lot of round table talk and I know that he's listening to friends and they are telling him a whole lot of stuff. And that is one of the reasons I think he's telling me to delete my channel. Why am I gonna delete my channel? I will tell him, okay baby, why don't you come and be a part of my channel so that I can really build content around my channel. Because you can add your little spice. I had my little spice. We have our little thing together. And we can make this channel work for the better. No. No. It, it, um, I'm, what I'm doing is stupidness. You know why I think that he's not being... You know why I think that I, he doesn't want to be a part of my channel? Because he's talking negative things about me to his family in India. And he doesn't want them to see me and him having a good channel because that will send conflicting statements to them because they really and truly don't want me in their life. Because the last time he told me his mother wants $8,000 from me for a diary. What do you call it, a diary? I said $8,000 for you for a diary? Really? No. Mm -mm. I'm not going to give you no $8,000 to give your mother for no diary. You don't worth that. No way. $8,000 US dollar? What am I buying? I'm not buying anything. What are you to me? You know? I know you're my husband. I marry you. But you, I didn't marry you for you to help me. I knew that you didn't, you wasn't going to help, give me anything. I married you because I loved you. You know, with the hope that <laughs> you would have changed, you know, because you, I know you come with your custom. But when you see how I live and how hoping I live and how kind I am, you take an advantage of it. You abuse me. I said, I, it would be better if, if you stop kissing me and telling me all these stories that you love me so much and I am the best thing that ever happened. That man will kill you with sweet words. <laughs> the sweetest words in your entire life. If you want to get some sweetness from a man's mouth, that is his mouth. Baby, I love you. You're the best. I kiss your feet. I wash your feet. You are everything. I am nothing without you. Those are the things that he's telling me. And in the process, he's doing everything that is negative behind my back. When I said everything that is negative, I said everything that is negative. Everything that I don't like, he does. And I can read him. Sometimes I look at him and I said, how heavy he is, the, the pressure of how heavy he is in the house with me. And I said, you know what? This man needs to go back to his family. You know, or leave me or go, go live with his friends or something because he's so negative. I can feel his negative energy because he will be in the house with me and he doesn't live a, lift a broom. He doesn't spread the bed. He doesn't care about nothing in the house. He just live, wake, live. The man will go to bed two o'clock in the morning and he will wake four o'clock in the evening when it's time for him to get ready to go to work. And he will go to work and come back, have a shower, he will eat, and he'll go back, he'll go to bed and he wake up four o'clock in the evening again for work. It's like we don't have a life. He's just using my space. And I'm saying to myself, what in the world is this? 
I can't live like this. I don't have a relation. What kind of life is this? We can't even communicate. <laughs> you know, but yet still you wake up. Mwah, baby, I love you. Mwah, baby, my baby. Mwah, baby, this. So, you know, that little kiss softens my heart. But in the, the, in the interim, it wasn't doing anything for me. Because nothing around me was good apart from that. He was just doing that to soften me so that he would be okay. In the process, he was, he didn't mind if I was dead. I scared to wife because I was literally dying. And you guys can see the pictures, I, my features, everything changed. Everything changed. That is to show you how depression and stress can really have an impact on your life. And I wouldn't even say anything else that is evil because I know God knows they can't harm me because God have me covered. They can't harm me spiritually because God have me covered. But a lot of times I lay in my bed and I see death coming and I said, go back to where you come from. Go back. And I embrace that I have no fear. I said, go back to where you come from. So I know within my heart and heart that if I go back to this man, <laughs> my life is going to be deteriorating because there's nothing that they can do anymore that could ever make me any sicker than who I am sick. What is Spirit of God, the whole Spirit of God. I believe in God and what God can do for you. Oh, you can be covered. They could, you know what I mean? I was feeling it. When I said I was feeling it to the point where a doctor couldn't tell me what was wrong with me, guys. Can you imagine? Nobody can tell me what was wrong with me. They did every test that you could think of. And nobody can tell me what is wrong with me. They said, ma'am, we, we, we don't know what is wrong with you. We can't tell you nothing. <laughs> and I was so sick. When I was sick, I, I, I didn't know what more to do or what more to say. But I, if I had to die, guys, I knew I wasn't scared about how I was feeling. I was not. But it made my eyes open to see that I was there dying, literally dying. And my husband looked at me like it was nothing. Like he was just waiting on me to die. So that he could get all my inheritance. <laughs> and go back to his family with it. You get what I'm saying, guys? You know those type of ways? So, I don't know. If I go back to him, it's going to be a miracle. Because my life, going back to this type of man, knowing that he was no help to me in no way, shape, or form, I was the one that was helping him. Yet still, he was not there to cushion me or to protect me or to make sure that I was okay. Or coming and say, baby, I know you're sick. You do this. All you do is mm -hmm, kiss me. I love him. Mm -hmm, kiss me. And watching me dying. Literally watching me dying, guys. And I look at him and I was, every time I, I see him, I say, baby, I'm not feeling so well. I'm not feeling so well. Uh, mm. He will dress up and put on his clothes and go on to his friends. 
I even told him one day I was so sick and I said, T uh, take me to the hospital. He said, I have to go to work. You still kiss me. I love you. If you love somebody and you see that they're so sick and they're telling you that they're sick, aren't you going to stop what you're doing and making make sure that they're okay? Especially if they're the one who's taking care of you financially. <laughs> And when I look into those things and I said, my God, I'm wasting my time. This is worthless. I have to get up out of here. Because I can't do this no more. But guys, I can't stop thanking you for helping me to see myself you know, because I have achieved so much in my life, but yet still I let people walk over me. And it's not so much that I let people walk over you because the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. So that's one of the mantra that I use, constantly give. But I know there are more stores in heaven for me. And I know there's a lot that I'm going to receive as a result of what I do to people and how I help people. I don't want to even talk about it. Because talking about it would be like I'm bragging, but I'm not. So I'm not even going to talk about it. But guys, I just want to thank, thank you again. I mean, I'm just so thankful. Thankful to the point where I don't know what more to say. Oh. I feel the, the relief of the destruction that was on me. And it's no joke, guys. I can move around now. I can I feel so good within myself. I'm coming back to the person I was before I met my husband. I just want to let you know that I love you all and I just want you to keep liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel because my channel is based on true facts and not monkey stories you know, and I know people out there is going through similar situations and even worse but guys you don't have to go through this. There's a whole lot of help out there for you guys. And I tell you, luckily I had my daughter. But if I didn't have my daughter, I would have I would have to find somewhere else to go. I know I had to save myself from all the destruction that was taken over me. I mean I was so sick. And if I destroy or delete my channel like my husband suggested, then I'm not going to be looking back and see where I was to where I am now. I will have no history. And I don't want that to be something that I am not reminding of. I want to be reminded of how I suffered. I want him to see how I suffered. And that he may be able to make a change in his life because it was not pretty. It was not pretty. And he didn't care. He didn't care. When I said he didn't care, guys, anything I asked him for, uh, he, he just put the cover over his head and gone to sleep. There's nothing that I asked him to do or for me. He would do it. He didn't care. But you still you will wake up and kiss me. I love you. I love you. You, you say I love you so much and if love was money, I would be a millionaire. <laughs> you said it so often. I love you. I love you. But guys, I'm just going to have to come to an end to this video, guys, because I could go on and I could go on and I could go on and I could go on. 
but I just want you to tell me guys if you think that I should delete this channel because it, my channel lacks content tell me guys in the description or continue to like share and subscribe to my video and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you can be notified of another video so take care guys